Hi everyone, we're continuing on the theme of standardization and the Z score. So to recap, we have a random variable x which is normally distributed with mean, mu and variance sigma square. By standardizing it, we are convert doing it, performing a transformation to convert it so to some another random variable, let's call it z, which has a which is normally distributed with a mean of 0 and a variance of 1. And then, so this process of converting x to z is called standardization. In a previous video, we already talked about the use of standardization. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to prove that the mean of z, z is 0 and the variance of z is 1. Before we do that, let's just be clear. This mu here may be rewritten the expected value of x. That sigma square there is the variance of x. This 0 here, that's the expectation of z one here, the variance of z. So we've stated what we want to show. The expected value of z is 0 and the variance of z is 1. We begin the proof by writing down the what they call the z-score, which is an equation that links x to z. But what this says is that to get the output z, you take the input, which is x, subtract the mean of x, and divide by the standard deviation of x. First, we want to calculate the expected value of z. Well, if I take the expectation of the left-hand side of this, I take the expectation of the right-hand side expression. Next, when we're dealing with these expectations, we know by now we look inside the term and s see which are the random variables and which are the constants. x is the random variable. It's random because it's normally distributed. The parameters, we know parameters are always constant. So mu is a constant, sigma is a constant. Use the expectation rules. First, the linearity condition says I can do this. Next, look at each term and do the, repeat the same thing. What is the random variable? What's the constant? X is the random variable. Sigma is a parameter. It's a constant. We know the rule is that you can take the constant outside the expectation. So this becomes 1 over sigma times x and the same on the second term, 1 over sigma times expected value of mu. Next line. What's the expected value of x in terms of mu? It's mu. Okay. Because recall that we said that x normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma square this is the expected value of x, which is uh, I'm now substituting that in. Why have I done that? Because I want this in mu. This is already in also in mu, so hopefully they cancel. Minus sigma. Now, what's the expected value of a constant? We know the rule is that the expected value of a constant is the constant, so it remains unchanged. Now, these two obviously cancel zero finished. There's more than one way to do this proof. Alternatively, from the first to the second line, I could have pulled out the sigma out there straight away. Like so. Take, now take the expectation through the brackets. Expected value of x minus the expected value of mu. 
and then we know this term is mu this term is also mu so it's zero next to show that the variance of z is one I'm going to apply the variance operator to both sides variance of the left minus variance of the right just like before um, now I pause at this stage just to say that if you don't know what I'm doing with the al what I'm doing with the algebra here you need to look back at my videos where I talk about the expectation operator and the rules of the variance operator okay so again ask ourselves the question we know x is random variable parameters mu and sigma they are constants the rule of the variance operator says I can take the constant out here and square it I'm gonna be using uh, this rule variance of a constant times a random variable is a squared times variance of it the random variable so this sigma can be written like so so the, it's like the a is the one over sigma and all that in the brackets is to do with the x it's another x okay so the sig one over sigma that comes out and squared so, so one over sigma squared times the variance of x minus mu now the other rule of the another rule of the variance is to say anything of the form variance of a random variable plus a constant is the variance of the random variable for the, for the reasons I explained in the uh, video on the variance operator so what we have is 1 over sigma squared times the variance of x now another notation for variance of x is sigma square since we said that x is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma square that's what uh, we know about x so in other words this variance of x is also is sigma square well those sigma squares cancel we get one and we're done in this video then we've shown that the expected value of the z score is 0 and the variance of the z z score is 1 a rather technical exercise and pretty boring but uh, if you are practicing the expectation operator and the variance operator it's a uh, it's a good exercise to do that if you want to understand the interpretation of the z score i'm sure i've done a video somewhere else so, okay so here endeth the lesson I'm Phil, your statistics mentor.